Hi, this is Dr. Allison Young from Stone Oak Ophthalmology Center here at the Eye Surgeon YouTube channel. And today we're going to be talking about one of the newest lens implants called the Light Adjustable Lens by RX Sight. Um, it's a really neat new technology that uh, has been working really well for a lot of patients in our practice. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about it so that you can learn how it works, what patients are best candidates for it, and if it would be a good option for you during your surgery. So as a recap, cataract surgery is a procedure where we remove the natural lens that we were born with that's gotten cloudy over the years, and we replace it with a crystal clear lens implant that's typically made out of acrylic or silicone. So in the past, all of our lens implants have always been one stable power, and we decide which power we're going to implant at the time of surgery based off of measurements that we do at your pre-op. At your pre-op, we get a whole bunch of measurements, including the shape of your cornea, the length of your eye, put those into a bazillion different formulas, and then that tells us what power of lens implant to put in the eye at the time of surgery. All of those older lenses, we implant and then that's it. We can't change the power of that lens implant once it's been placed in the eye. And most of the time that works beautifully, but there are some situations where if an eye is very long or very short, or you've had LASIK or PRK or RK or some other factors, then our calculations are not as accurate and we can put that lens implant in and it may not be the power that we're looking for. And so that's where the light adjustable lens really shines because in this lens, implant, we are actually able to adjust the power of the lens after cataract surgery, after you've healed, everything settled into its final position, and then we can see how we've done. And if we need to adjust things, we can. So the process for a light adjustable lens is very similar to traditional cataract surgery. Um, again, we're going to come in, we're going to get the measurements, we're going to pick a lens power based on those measurements, do the surgery just like we would do any cataract surgery and implant that lens. And then we let the eye heal. And so you know, for our patients, we say at least three weeks of doing all of the post-op drops, letting the incisions heal, let the cornea kind of settle into its final position after those incisions have healed. And then we see where we are. And we can adjust the power of the lens if somebody wants their right eye to be more for distance, their left eye to be more for near, we can make adjustments at that time. So typically we'll need one to two adjustments. We can do them a week apart. Um, we use a special laser that's right here in the office that just takes a couple of minutes. Um, in just a second I'll show you what that looks like. Um, but we can do an adjustment each week for up to three weeks and then once we've decided yes this is what we love, you're really happy, then we do two lock-in treatments um, that are very similar to the adjust adjustments themselves um, where we lock those lens powers in. And so once that's done, then those lenses are going to be set for the rest of your life. The beauty of being able to make these adjustments is that you can do the adjustment and then go out into your world and you know we call it test driving your vision. Utilize your vision in your job. Look at your computer, look at your reading material, drive, drive at night, see how everything is feeling. And then based on how you feel, then we can adjust the lenses a little bit if we need to. Um, the more astigmatism people have, the more adjustments we're going to need to make, and vice versa, the less astigmatism, the fewer adjustments. Some patients will only need one, some will, will need all three. Um, it just kind of depends on your particular eye. Next, I'd like to talk about who's a good candidate for this lens and who is not a good candidate for this lens. The good news is that most people are a good candidate for this lens. In the past, we were restricted if people had glaucoma or macular degeneration or prior retinal disease, we couldn't use certain premium uh, lens implants. But with a light adjustable lens, all of those patients are still candidates for the most part. Um, the restrictions are really more based on the eye itself or prior eye disease. So people who are not candidates for this lens would be anyone whose pupil does not dilate to a certain size. We need the pupil to be big enough in order to do those adjustment light treatments. And so if the pupil's not big enough, then unfortunately those folks are not candidates for this lens. Um, also, anybody who's had prior herpetic eye disease um, is not a good candidate as well because of the UV light that we use during the adjustments. Um, but otherwise, you know, most people have this lens as an option, which is really nice. This is the device that we're gonna be using for the adjustments. And for those visits, uh, patients will come in, we'll do some measurements on the eyes, and then dilate both pupils because we need the eye to be dilated in order to deliver um, that light energy to the lens. So it's really simple. You just put your chin right in the chin rest, 
This is a little um, lens that's gonna go on the surface of the cornea that helps direct all of that energy to the lens. It doesn't hurt at all, um, and it just takes anywhere from 60 to 120 seconds per eye. Um, there are no restrictions afterwards. You just kind of go about your day as normal. The eyes will be dilated, but otherwise, you know, it's really, really pretty easy treatment. And then, usually within the first two to three days after the treatment, that's when you're really gonna be able to tell the difference from that adjustment, and then you'll have the remainder of that week or whatever interval you've set up with your doctor to test drive that vision, see how it's working for you, and then let us know when you come back for the next adjustment. So that was just kind of a short intro into light adjustable lenses. I hope you guys found it helpful. I know it can be really confusing when you're trying to choose what type of lens implant to place at the time of cataract surgery. So I hope this was a help. Um, I always tell my patients the good news is you cannot choose the wrong lens for your cataract surgery. They're all so wonderful, but this is just another tool that we have um, in our toolbox to help patients see the best they possibly can. Thanks so much for watching.